glad you're back safely. Did you get my Arpi? Yes, I found Arpi. Good, good. And what of that Malacca's commander? He didn't survive our encounter. <laughs> you are a true friend. Feeling there's more to the story of Arby's disappearance than you're letting on. What? Come now. You've always had such a suspicious mind. Still seeing conspiracies everywhere, are we? You've done me a great favor here. Let's not sour the celebration. <sighs> Getting Arby back wasn't easy. I had to go to a lot. Ha, you truly are a mercenary, through and through. I learned from the best, remember? Of course, of course. I'm happy to pay. You did me a great service today. And great work deserves a great reward. Here, take this. Even if I don't swing her anymore, I'm glad to have Arpi back. Take care of yourself, Vitor. And try not to lose anything else. Peter. Ah, my friend! I'm so glad you're here. I know that look. If you need a favor, just tell me. Well, yes. A small one. A mercenary and old friend of mine has gotten himself captured. So you'd like me to free him? Sadly, I'm no longer able to do these things myself. Otherwise, I wouldn't ask. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, my friend. Once you rescue him, take him to the beach. I've left a boat there for him to escape. Tell me where to look for him. He's in a military camp just north of here. Why are you so worried about a mercenary? He's a friend. Didn't I do the same for you? Remember that trouble you and Marcos got into? Yes, yes, you're right. If we're not going to look out for each other, who will? Time to go get your friend. Keep away if you don't want trouble. Better stay hidden. You have my thanks. <gasps> Your friend didn't make it. I'm sorry. Maybe it's better that way. What do you mean? Just an old mercenary's remorse that he... Sometimes the past won't let us go easy.
general. Chiara. I might have a job for you. If you're as good a fighter as I've heard. You've heard of me? Don't let it go to your head. I hear about everything that happens in this city, Mistyos. With flattery like that, how could I possibly turn you down? I'm not trying to flatter you. I'm trying to hire you. I need some Spartan military targets removed. I'll help you if I can. Depending on what it is you need, General... Demosthenes. Very good. My spies tell me the Spartans are mobilizing. What I want you to do is hamstring them. Get into their forts and remove the commanders in charge. I guess that... Commanders you kill as proof. You'll be amply rewarded. Those don't seem like standard Athenian tactics. They're not. But it will work, and that's what matters. We've already lost too many Athenians to those savages using traditional warfare. The other generals disagree, but I refuse to let them destroy our chances. What do they want to do? They want honorable face-to-face -face warfare, pitting our forces directly against the Spartans. We're not going to win a contest of strength against those brutes. We need to outthink them. So, will you kill the commanders? All right, I'll take the job. Good. I might not have approval to deploy our men to do this, but I'm not about to let that stop me. What's so special about these seals? Only elite Spartan commanders carry these seals, those in charge of entire forts. They'd all die before parting with them. So bring me the seals as proof that they're dead. Where can I find them? The Spartans have been making inroads into Athenian territory, taking over forts that once belonged to us. Make them pay for every inch. What's your strategy? Whatever it takes to protect Athenian lives and kill Spartans. That's not what I meant. What's your personal strategy? My career is none of your business. Know that I don't seek much. Only proper recognition of my strategic brilliance. You've told me enough. When you're ready, meet me at the Pnyx in Athens. The Spartans may draw near to our walls, but we must come together now for the glory of Athens! Glory for you! <laughs> Friend! Friends, please! Just because the Spartans are near our walls does not mean we can act like them! A good crop! Shame the Spartans burn the fields where it grew! The Parthenon is glorious, Pericles, but at what cost? Come divided! We are divided! And the Spartans are winning! Act, Pericles, or I will! Oh, good. You came. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. Stay back! She is no threat to Pericles, I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. And you as well. I only wish it were under better circumstances. And who's this? Cassandra. Welcome, Cassandra. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? I think you and Cleon both made good points. Good points aren't at all what the crowd seem to care about. They're afraid, and Cleon indulged their fear. Pericles, we've come to... We must choose our moment wisely, and speak our words more privately. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. 
As does everybody. I'm Finian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. They don't need another reason to hate me. If she's working for you, maybe the prying eyes will see her as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Cassandra, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? I'm looking for a woman who's very important to me. Irovato said a symposium could be useful for gaining information. He would be correct. I can get you in, although I can't promise the information you seek will be found. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Mediochos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Done. My friend, Phidias, needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. Anything else? Yes. There's an ostracism vote taking place that could use your... Uh, influence. Meteochos. You said he was your colleague? A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Phidias? The famous sculptor? What did he do, exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism. Exile is a term you between two people to decide who should leave. It's between the sophist Anaxagoras and another man on trial for impiety. My contact near the Agora will give you the details. I'll do it. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes. Share <laughs> friend. I saw you talking to my associate, Pericles. From what I saw, you weren't doing much associating. That's just politics. Pericles is a good man, a fine man, just not the right man. That's not what I heard. From whose lips? His? <laughs> I've heard you both speak. You treat people's lives like it's some sort of game. Politics is a game, and one with high stakes. I play for the people. Politics should be about the people. Isn't that the heart of Athenian democracy? I'm not saying Pericles doesn't care for the people. Just that he doesn't lead them with a firm enough hand. Did you actually need something, or did you just want to educate me on the finer points of democracy? Pericles is holding parties for the rich and powerful while we're under siege. What I want is for my people to reclaim control. You could help me. My services don't come cheap. I understand the wills of commerce and the needs of the people. I will pay you handsomely for your services. And how do you want me to help? Help Athens, not me. The Spartans howl outside our city walls. Create chaos among their ranks. Make them suffer as we do. Think about it. Will you take my commission and show the Spartans we are not defeated yet? I have no problem killing Spartans. Good. Kill their commander, Nabis. Destroy their supplies and return to me with proof of your exploits. Show them that we have teeth too. I'll get it done. Trust me. This is a huge opportunity for you. There is the supplies.
the commander and bring back proof. Simple. You've returned. Did you bring the proof I asked for? I think this might interest you. I took it from the commander after I killed him. You know what it's about? What do you mean? Your reaction betrayed you. Yes. The man mentioned in this note was on important business for Athens. Why was the messenger trying to get to Mytilini? She was to help distribute supplies to the people there. To help them against their oppressors. Who is this man to you? You look concerned. He was only an aide. It was his mission that was important. I hope this proves I can be trusted to get the job done. Proved you're competent, yes. Trusted? You did read the note. I had to make sure it was proof of what I did. Ask for you. To find my messenger, Yerimos. This was the messenger from the note. Yes, it's imperative Yerimos is freed and reaches the ship I've read it for him. Where's the ship I need to take him to? For now, it's safer you don't know. Once you find him, he will tell you. Tell me about this messenger of yours. He's of no significance. But his mission is, find him so he can complete it. What mission is your messenger on? The fewer people who know, the better. But understand, it is vital to the future of Athens. Where should I look for Yerimos? If the Spartans have him, he'll be in the old quarry. I have it on good authority they're holding all their prisoners there. Don't worry. I'll get this Yerimos of yours to the ship. It's moving. Stop. I can't let you go any further. It isn't often you see a guard outside of an artist's workshop. I just do what I'm told, stranger. And until I'm told otherwise, no one is going in or out. Stand aside. This is important. So is keeping people out. Maybe you can see Phidias after his trial, if the people spare his life. Listen, I'm working for Pericles. He wants me to see Phidias. Well, I'm working for the people of Athens, and they want Phidias dead. Now back off, or you're dead too. Everyone. Here, take it. That'll do just fine. You tell anyone I did this, and you're as good as dead. Funny. I was going to say the same to you.
Sorry about that. How did you get past the guard? No one gets past the guard. Relax. Heracles sent me. Ah, praise Athena. I knew he'd send help. I was worried they sent someone after me. They? Who? The shadows in the night. Why you fear falling asleep? They're hunting me, us. No one is safe in Athens anymore. The cult of Cosmos. You know about them. Of course I know about the cult. Here, look at this. These are instructions. On how to kill me. But they've been torn. Then Pericles isn't just getting you out of Athens to save you from the... I'm just an artist. I just wanted to create. Please, what am I to do? First, you need to pull yourself together. You're on trial, the people are against you, and now I find that the cult want to kill you. Uh... I said pull yourself together! Yes, of course. Cleon said you're wasting the people's drachmi. If he had his way, he'd serve them your head. Cleon mentioned me? That's going to hurt Pericles. First impiety, now theft. After all we've done for this city. You and Pericles seem close. For Pericles and me, it started with our love of Athens. Our differences push us to greatness. That is true friendship. All right, we need to go. Do you have any idea where I can take you? South of Athens, there's an island called Serifos. My friend Theras lives there. When I discovered the plot against me, I sent word to him. If anyone can help us, he can. Any clues he has of the cultists' identities, I want them. Yes, yes, anything. A guard! I'll distract them while you sneak out. Meet me tonight to set sail for Serifos. Don't show your face until you see me at the docks. I understand. You didn't really think I'd let you come and go as you please, did you? Now, where are you? She's here! το επιχείρημα το μη και πιστικό. Δέσποινε και κύριε πολίτε, έχουμε λιτώνας περιβάλλοντος. Αλλά σε πόλεμο. If I meditate, maybe Φιδίες will be here when I'm done. made it. I was beginning to worry. I told you I'd get you out of Athens. So you did. Can your friend be trusted? Theras and I have been friends for a long time. 
I just sent word telling him where to meet us. Wasting time will only get us into trouble. Let's head to Serifos while we still can. It's good to see you alive and well, Thidias. And you, Thiras. As you can see, I didn't get here alone. Ah, yes. The kind and thoughtful hero you mentioned in your letter. I'm glad I could get him out alive. And for that heroism, I found some information on a man named Brisson who's plotting Thidias' early demise. Hopefully you can make something of this clue. I can. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. I swear on my life and the lives I will take from others, I will not fail the cosmos again. the selection ceremony, ladies. I especially hope you show up. Let me guess. He's rich. That's Etios, the scion of the most influential family in chaos. And his wife choosing ceremony is tomorrow. <sighs> we need Eros's blessings to be picked. You hope to marry into riches? No! My feelings are for Etios, not his wealth. If your feelings for him are real, they get stronger with Rahmin. No! I really am in love with him. You better start praying like the rest of them. <laughs> no, I have to stand out. If I do what everyone else is doing, I'll never be picked by Eros or Etios. I need to do something. Anything. Anything. Yes. Anything. <laughs> Eros? Please, his ears are stuffed full with the prattling of these women. Let me help. I'm a witch of Ekati, goddess of witchcraft and magic. I know just the thing. A love potion. Please, sell it to me. And don't let the others hear you. I don't need your drachmi. I spread the word of Ekati freely. But a love potion is tailored to the imbiber. I have to make one just for you. And once you've drained every last drop of it down your pretty throat, you will exude pure, irresistible beauty. Aetios will fall in love with you instantly. First, we'll need two things. A cask of the finest wine, and some wild mushrooms. Uh, but where can I find that at such short notice? I'm sure the Mistyos could procure these items for you. Please! 
it's me, Stios. Please, you've got to help me. In the name of love and a lot of drachmi. Well, I'll give you all I've got. If Etios picks me, I'll be sure to give you even more. Uh, fine. I'll get the ingredients for your love potion. The finest wine isn't much to go on. How will I get it? A shipment of expensive wine was lost in a shipwreck recently. Look around the wreckage in Pirate Bay, and you'll find a cask or two. If it hasn't already been pillaged by pirates. It's beached on the west coast of the island. Where will I find wild mushrooms? No, no. A new shipment of very special mushrooms has arrived at the customs warehouse. Fetch me. See to the items. Excellent. Meet us at the temple on the hilltop when you're done. That's the warehouse. The wild mushrooms will be in there somewhere. warehouse. Better get looking for those mushrooms. should do fine. Though, they don't look safe to eat. Pirates haven't gotten here yet. This is some strong stuff. That must be the shipwreck she was talking about. Here's everything you asked for. Ah, thank you, Mistios. 
Now, I just need a more personal artifact. The last ingredient. I've come this far, I'll see it through. What else do you need, witch? No, no. What I need, the girl can provide. I'll give you whatever you need to be with Etios. We'll just need a little sniff of your beautiful locks. Your part in this is done, Mistios. Come to the selection ceremony at Aetios' house to witness the fruits of your labor. It's the one overlooking the sea. You've got to come! Once Aetios picks me, I'll make sure to pay you your due. I hope he has deep pockets. His love didn't come cheap. Come. There's much left to do. Sorry, my love. Give me a moment. Some peasants need my attention. You said a little bit of her hair. Explain this. <laughs> Explain? It's clear, beautiful, gullible, idiot girl falls prey to her competition. She set me up! Etios picked her instead! <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Aetios can be no one's but mine. I'm the one who truly loves him. I grew up with him. I've always been the one looking out for him. You think I'd let some starry-eyed fledgling after his wealth steal the love of my life from me? Aetios doesn't know what's good for him. He's been eyeing this one for a while now. He liked the way she looked. So I changed that. <laughs> What happened to the potion? Why, oh, she drank it. And look, it worked wonderfully. <laughs> she added the lock of my hair to the potion, and then made me drink it. I didn't feel anything strange at the time, but when I did, all my hair, it just began to fall off. What trickery is this? You used her hair in a spell? A spell? Are you idiots? If only something so convenient existed. It's simple alchemy. With a little knowledge of poisonous local flora, anything is possible. And wild mushrooms are known to cause violent reactions. But honestly, I've never seen anyone go bald. Just a horrible rush at best. This went better than I expected. <laughs> I was promised Rahmi. Just give it to me. I didn't sign up for any of this drama. Technically, the girl asked you for the items, not me. She's making fools of us both! Kill her, Misty! Crazy. You'll pay for this. She played the game and she lost. There's nothing to pay for. You believed she's innocent in all this? She tried to get ahead with magic. So spare me the hypocrisy. Just leave and take your bald friend with you. Please, Mistyos, do something. I'll cut through every last one of your guards to get to you. Guards! Stop this, Mistyos! Oh, oh, shit! What have you done to my wife? Oh, this mistress. Oh. 
What's a little girl doing in a clay pit? Oh, a mistios. Hi, mistios. I'm just preparing something for my friends. I've been here all day, but I still need more clay. I need enough for all of them. Your friends will be upset with you for giving them dirt. Silly Mythios, I'm not going to give this to them. I have other things in mind to give them. You're a generous friend. What do you want to give them? I want to give them some nice jewelry. <laughs> you mean jewelry? That's what I said. <laughs> you don't look like you could afford any, honestly. I know. That's why I was going to get some shiny stones in the abandoned mines. And a few pearls from the lagoon. But I've been stuck here all day with the clay. And the abandoned mines are kinda scary. Do you think you could help me get some gifts for my friends? It makes them happy and that'll make me happy. I'll make some gooey for you too, for helping me. Gladly, young lady. I'll see to it you get the best pearls and shiny stones. And I wouldn't mind some jewelry myself. Yay! Thank you. You're really nice for a big, scary-looking person. These pearls you talked about, where can I find them? North of the clay pits, in the lagoon. The j Where are these abandoned mines with your shiny stones? The mine is in the metal, west of the temple. I'll see what I can find. Where are all your friends? They'll be coming soon, just a little longer. Speak up, child. I can't hear you. Never mind. I'll introduce you to them later. Okay, that's all I need to know. I'll see you later. I should be done here soon. Meet me at the cliff overlooking the lagoon, okay? I'll introduce you to my friends. Thanks, Mythios. Ah, the mines. That's where the shiny stones are. These weren't too hard to find.
pearls and the shiny stones. I should return to the little... The little girl and her friends. She got here sooner than I thought she would. Mistyos! You made it just in time! My friends have finally arrived! I don't see anyone else here but us. <laughs> what? Silly Mistyos, can't you see them? They're right over there! The one on the left is Theo, and the one on the right is Erla. Your friends? They're made of clay. How can they be your friends? What do you mean? They're my friends. I made them. I know you made them, but that... Mother told me to make friends, Mistyos, and I did. This isn't a way to make friends. Tell your mother that... I can't! She's dead, Mistyos. Mother is dead. She joined the pirates. Told me she'll bring back so much drachmi. We could swim in it. But, but, but one day she came back and she told me to take care of myself and make more friends. But I've never had any friends. I didn't know what she meant. So I thought really, really hard and made my friends out of clay. Did I make a mistake? Mother won't be upset at me, right? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. You can't do this anymore. W what are you doing? Those are from my friends. They are not your friends. They are lumps of clay. <laughs> You need to make real friends. Go into the towns, find children your age. You cannot live out here alone. But all the town folk told me to stay away. They say I'm a cursed girl. Then go somewhere else, find other people. There are still good people left. You just don't get it. You're not me. You don't understand. Go away! Blessed be the god that killed me, so thank you. I'm always happy to help someone in need. The world could do with more like you, especially now. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. You often get tied up and surrounded by snakes. How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home, dragged me here, tied me up and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh, yes? They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls.
part of Athens I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. Snakes. Like the ones that were meant to kill Meteochus. Someone hid the body, though I have a feeling this death was an accident. It looks like the thugs who attacked Meteochus weren't the masterminds behind this plot. This must be the house of Meteochus's attackers, but the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Whose? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Meteochus. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and the body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us, there will be others who follow our lead. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Don't be someone's puppet. Tell me where the snake dealer is. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. You've crossed a line. Now you must pay the price. We will never surrender to the likes of you. We will make Athens great again. The corrupt will be snapped out one way or another. <laughs> I need to rid Athens of this snake somewhere. Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger went. has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. A group of fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer working for enemies of Athens. What did you do with them? I gave them what the gods demanded. Justice. The punishment seems fair. Still, it pains me to see sons and daughters of Athens turning against one another. 
They tried to kill you. If I hadn't arrived when I did, they would have succeeded. Thank you for your help, Mistios. I'll be sure to mention it to Pericles. <gasps> That's everything Pericles wanted. Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. Cassandra, it's you! Phoebe! You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have! I also said, stay out of trouble. Which I have! Okay, almost out of trouble. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe... I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into the... Please. No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't. Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I'm in? Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Here, <sighs> Cassandra. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated towers. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> 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 
It looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. <laughs> Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachos. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates! Always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This party could be fun. Alcibiades drinks like a Spartan. Maybe he fights like one, too. If I could suggest anything, please don't start a fight. Or end one. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with Evripides. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that'll help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. So we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argiv than Athenian. Impressive foreigner. Every Pidis is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every piece is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every piece, lover of Asclepios, father of theater and his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every piece. You sure you're just friends? 
I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pidis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a penal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Say for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. A new face in Pericles is abode. Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What is Sandra? But never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we argue his drink. Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. Pericles has invited all of you here. Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breeding, and vulgar manners. Let's conjure Dionysos, shall we? This... this is pure swill. Amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! Ready for more? Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piss. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. You ready for another? Wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pidis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Uh, he still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. 
Socrates and Argos. Here I come. How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Someone's being hurt. Open this door or I'll kick it in! Oh, 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 oh don't mind her. She likes to watch. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I thought this party was tame, even by Athenian standards. Until now. Let them have their meeting of the minds. I'm more interested in meeting other parts. Ali, we're out of oil again. Ali? You know they like you when they give you a pet name. There's more olive oil in the kitchen. But Aspasia keeps complaining about me walking unencumbered through her symposiums. You mean naked. Mm, it sounds so good when you say it. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons. And these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Time for some fun. You'll have to help me strip off these uncomfortable Athenian robes. Gladly. If you like, we can feed them to the goat. There's another goat? <laughs> Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met.
prostitutes? This is serious. They don't like being called that. And for good reason. They offer so much more than their bodies. Such as... These women are companions, counselors, confidants. Powerful men come to the Aetera asking for advice and value their words more than those of their closest friends and advisors. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. who agrees that knowledge is most important. I think we agreed. Her use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. It's young destruction to avoid the point being argued. You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rulers. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never tried to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. I did what I had to, and I'd do it again. I make no apologies. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. 
It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirimi, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. Thing done, or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Cassandra! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh. She says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you... Don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had an Axagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there is something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said... I won't risk the... So you did... Anaxagoras... Why send a Matiochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Herodotus was saying. This concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm... related to one of the cult members. And I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. 
I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There is a physician in Argolis that may be able to help me. You're sick? You've never been sick. No, no, I'm fine. I just need to talk to him. Okay, good. It would be weird if you were sick. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened, okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra! Cosmos fights for Athens, and so Athens fights for Cosmos. Slavery is natural. It is necessary. Cassandra! I knew you'd be back for more. I can't say it hasn't been on my mind, but alas, we must save it for another time. Whatever you say. 
I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him long enough, and you may find the smallest hint of knowledge veiled deep behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. I can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is... There has to be a reason Sophanes can't sign the list himself. Well, he would, but he isn't nearly as... Uh, able as you are. Meaning? Meaning you have skills he doesn't possess. He'd fail if he tried on his own. Why Athens? Surely he's a citizen somewhere else already. Everyone wants to be an Athenian citizen, even if they don't say so. Sophanes has a mind for politics, but can only participate as a citizen. I didn't realize you had a list of mercenaries you favor. And I'm at the top? Of course you are. Although, if you ask nicely, I would happily let you be on the bottom. This sounds simple. Now tell me why it isn't. There's this small matter that you'll have to enter the Metrun, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally. You should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. Talking in circles may work on others, Socrates, but not on me. I don't speak in circles or any other shape. You answered one of my questions and that brought another question. My favorite Mystios returns. Sophanis' name is on the list, but it came at a price. I see. Now sometimes blood must be shed. You were the right Mystios for the job. my friend's name on the citizens list there's one more thing that needs to be done if you told me this needed to be done before I could have taken care of it already maybe but this way I get to see you more often just tell me what you need unfortunately getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen he also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship so you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. Of course, the witness must be an Athenian citizen, but it can't be a friend. Be careful with Perus, though. It's easy to lose oneself in his gaze. If there's more after this, I want to know now. Of course, this should be the last thing. Should? I mean, is. Time to find Peros. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just ask him to help? Peros needs to say that the parents of Sophanes were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. That's the guy Alcibiades called handsome? Can't say I agree with him. You tell Theon I'm not giving him anymore. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about that. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's something I need your help with. Well, 
you'd actually be helping someone else. That someone sent you tells me it's something I'd be better off avoiding. You just need to validate a man's citizenship. Alkibiadis said it's an easy role for you to play. Ah, Alkibiadis. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sophanes. Sophanes? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. Help? A true Mystios never get all the information up front. Sophanes betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. Sounds like Theon may be sending someone to collect from you. Wouldn't it be nice to have the Drachmi you need? Ah, uh, fine. I'll do what you want. You've returned! Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. You kept information from me. Information that would have been nice to know. I believe people like Sovanis deserve second chances. I didn't think what he did mattered to you. Next time, let me decide what matters to me. Understood. I should give Sofanis the news. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? Person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? A person's past shows who they'll become. The one easy part of my job is how predictable people can be. Then a war criminal such as Sophanis must bear that choice with no hope to change how he's seen. I wonder then if bad actions come that another time. Thank the gods. Like I was too late for Yerimus. Huh. Seems Cleon's messenger wasn't the only one captured. Maybe I can help them too. Thank you. I need to get to my ship. I'll reward you well. You have a ship? Yes. I came inland to meet an associate. You might have seen him. He enjoyed Spartan hospitality at the end of a rope. Yerimos? I was sent to rescue him. We can still complete the mission if you help me. Tell me who you are. Captain Onomaklis. I'm on an urgent mission. I need to get out of here. Spartan patrols could find us at any moment. Agreed. We need to get to my ship. I'll get you to your ship. Just point me in the right direction. It's on the coast. Just south of Marathon Beach. What's so important about this ship? It's not the ship, but it's cargo. It must reach its destination. Then what's the cargo? I'm not ungrateful. <sighs>
on. the same fate as you. for you on the board came from the Vilos Islands one of the cultists is there Cassandra his name is Botharkis you reading my messages Barnabas? I may have taken a peek you've done Athens a great service on my return I will make sure to acknowledge it. Well, you did mention payment. More than that. You will have earned the favor of some powerful people when they hear of what you've done. I hear it's useful to have powerful friends. The way the world is now, you need them more than ever. What do you mean? I've said enough, and my sheep awaits. Thank you again, Mistyos. I hope we'll meet again. Far longer than I expected. There were... complications. In what way? Your messenger was dead by the time I arrived, but I was still able to free the captain, and the ship sailed. So, I still did the job. Ah, oh, poor Yerimos. But I should be thankful for your initiative. You don't seem very concerned about poor Yerimos. Every struggle has its sacrifice. Yerimos played his part well. What's in Mytilene that's so important? People. We need us for. You'll be amply compensated. You have done me and the people a huge service. 
One day you will see your part in this great work. I call that impression the lapdog. Oh, I... Ermipos has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Ermipos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates, else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Ermipos should say what he wants? Most people should keep their words to themselves. Including Ermipos. What if you believe Ermipos should not be given the right to speak, but others do? Who then decides what speech is allowed? It is a dangerous path to tread. And one I clearly must. How can you stand up for Ermipos when he attacks Pericles is beyond me. I stand up for no one. Only truth and freedom of speech. If you have such an issue with Ermipos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to. But I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard. Wait, I'll find him. Once Eremipos is in front of you, what are you going to say? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I promise you, it will be a grand spectacle. It almost sounds like you're jealous of Eremipos. Ha! Huh, me? Envious of him? Making someone sad is easy, but making someone laugh takes true skill and talent. Wherever Ermipos is, I'll find him. I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to start. Someone there. Well, probably not. What? Uh, uh, ah! I'm going to see if they're still alive. Cover me. You can't be here. You don't. Ah! 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 Like Cleon made notes for Ermipos on his play. Everyone's a writer. <sighs> Mask from the cult of Cosmos. Ermipos must be a member. of money for someone like Ermipos. Explains his residence, at least. What is it? I couldn't find Ermipos. But I did find out something about him. He's a member of the Cult of Cosmos. 
then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Hermippus and the cult, I'd imagine. Hermippus is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah, yes, you deserve a play of your own. What is a leader if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. Hear your footsteps. Welcome back. You'll be glad to know I've been to the statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel her presence. Would you describe her to me? If Athens is a city of statues, then Athena is their guardian. She stands high above everything. ...on guard over the city. Yes. Not just standing tall to protect Athens... ...but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people endured during the invasion. Your turn to tell me something. You said the man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named... ...Darius. He was of a new creed of killers. Unlike any Persia had known... ...he was also the man... Hired to kill me. A killer of kings? Hired to kill a simple blind man? Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. I'll be back with stories to tell. As soon as you've seen one location, please return.
Gods have mercy! You... want... mercy? Ah! Those who trade in slaves anywhere on my island will be marked as slaves themselves. Then hauled to Attica and fed to the system they tried to profit from. Get this scum out of my sight! <laughs> I thought all pirates were all thought to be murderers too. So tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. I came to find the great pirate Xenia. That's you, isn't it? I like the sound of that. But what was your plan once you found me? I came to offer you a deal. Entering my city and killing my followers is a strange way to strike a deal. I didn't think they'd let me just walk in, and I don't have time to waste. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Cassandra. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? She's my mother. I haven't seen her since I was a child. So, you're on a quest to find your family? Something like that. Then your path is not an easy one. Aspasia is the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? Considering you butchered a few of my people, I feel like compensation is in order. Why do you protect? I have no interest in going to war. I just want to make sure the war doesn't come to us. I don't have the Drachmi yet, but I'll return when I do. There's no rush on my part. If you need work, check with my people in the city. I'm sure they'd have use for a capable mercenary. Trust a pirate to only help for a boatload of Rahmi. If I'm going to pay her, I need to find some work on this island. It should be much easier to travel the island now that everyone won't try to kill me on sight. better by now. Well... I mean, how hard is it to take a merchant ship and get to Terra and back? Still, Xenia could have used that Miltos. The Drachmi would have been helpful in her fight against. Something we can help you with? 
Yeah. You were talking about the shipment. We weren't saying nothing. Nothing that concerns you, anyway. I'm always open to a good tale. Especially if it ends in misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> the ones with Gotha. I'd like to find this ship. Well, I'll help you if you can. Then you can bring us a story. What's Miltos, anyway? Miltos, the next best thing to gold. Fucking Athenians want it all for themselves. Self-important malakas. Do you know where I can find the ship? Could be anywhere, knowing Gotarsis. Oh, I heard the plan was to intercept the shipment near Lestris Island, due south of Chaos. Who's this captain you keep mentioning? Gotarsis. Be thankful you don't know. <laughs> the Parthenon's got more chance of staying afloat than him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If you find that Miltos, be sure to come back and share the wealth. Of course, my friends. Marlikes. Xenia and her crew really destroy the place. If they burn everything, how do they expect to keep the people quiet? sound troubled. I'm trying to steal Xenia a great treasure to celebrate her victory over Chaos, but the directions have been stolen. And I suppose you want someone to steal them back. I tried, but they were stolen by the leader of Coresia who Xenia banished from the city. There's a new truce between them, but no pirate would touch that. Lucky for you, I'm no pirate. Are you saying you'll help me? There's something in it for you if you do. I suppose I could get your directions. Poseidon blesses me with good fortune at last! So where am I going? To the other side of the island. You'll find the tablet in the leader's house there. Once you have it, head to the nearby village of Poisa and deliver it to my associate. You said the leader's house is near Piesa? Yes, to the south of the village. Where is Piesa? It's on the east coast of the island of Chaos. Don't worry, I'll get what you want. Xenia will be thrilled! I await your return! If there's a map, it's in there. Better stay hidden. This must be what she wants. Ow! 
This all looks so boring. What are you doing in the area? What happened to your associate? He had other business to attend to. Left in a hurry. So I came to meet you. I see. Did you get the tablet? I guess I'll be paid handsomely then. But of course. You're a woman after my own heart, you know. Thanks. Here's the tablet. Excellent. Now we can really get to the matter at hand. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. This is interesting. The treasure is hidden in some Minoan ruins. Ah, oh, but it's underwater. You can't swim? I'm a pirate. Of course I can fucking swim. I... Just don't like sharks. So you're a coward, not a weakling. I don't need to swim if I have a reliable mercenary to do it for me. I might be interested in an adventure. I can promise you this will be one to remember. Else Poseidon stride and spear me and drag me to the crashing deep. All right. I suppose I can help you recover your treasure. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Poseidon blesses me with good fortune at last. So where am I going? Here. Take this key and head to the southern tip of Chaos. You'll find the entrance to the ruins of the pomegranate I ate earlier. Hurry now. Time's a wasting. What exactly is this treasure? It's said to be in the ancient ruins of Kinastros, so the treasure must be a rare artifact from before the island was settled. What's it like down there? The treasure is guarded by a frenzy of sharks. You'll find it in a chest at the heart of the island. Well, if it had been an easy job, you would have done it yourself. How will I know if I'm looking in the right place? Head south from the lost garden of Bacchylides. Even though the ruins are underwater, you'll see them just off the coast. I'll get you what you want. My friend, you are a gift from Poseidon himself. I try my best. I'm going to need that artifact from you now. First, my pay. I don't think so. You fucking traitor! Now, now, let's not make it personal. I do your dirty work and you don't pay me? It is personal. Look on the bright side. I'm allowing you to walk away with your life. There was no treasure. Then why are you here? I came to tell you there's nothing down there. Someone else must have got there first. Then I'll kill you and check your remains, just to be sure.
the mighty not Spartan returns. Here, take it. A pleasure doing business. The information I need. How long will it take? I already have it. You do? Your Marini now sails under the name of Finikas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. You're looking for Pinakas. I can't stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. Don't forget me. Do you know where she is now? She sailed southeast with her crew in search of a greater calling. She was part of your crew? For a time. Why did she leave? Much too interested in the politics of war. A waste of a good pirate, if you ask me. I haven't heard from her since she left. Chaos is a long way from Sparta. How did your paths cross? On the sea, long ago. In her, I saw a better life. In me, she found freedom. Together, we own the waves. I can't believe she was a pirate. She's the kind of woman who, once she sets her mind to something, gets it done. Thank you. I... Home isn't a place. It's the people you're with. If you don't find what you're looking for, there's a place for you here. What do you need? Is this a bad time? Every time's a bad time. There's too much work and not enough people to do it. But I'm the only person who cares about that. Wait, did Xenia send you? She said you'd have work for me. Well, thank Poseidon. Finally, someone competent to help. Ships are pushing into our territory and testing us. Xenia wants to send a message to make sure people understand who owns this little part of the Aegean. What kind of message do you want to send? Sinking some ships while flying her colors should do the trick. That's one way to do it. We're still pirates. We've a reputation to uphold in these waters. And nothing says, respect me, like a bit of blood spilling. Sounds to me like you're weakening the competition. Chaos not big enough for your ambitions? If we're going to take more territory, we wouldn't be hiring the likes of you. We'd do it ourselves. Best way to prevent an attack is to strike first. No arguments here. I'll sink the ships for you. What am I targeting? Destroy a few ships from Sparta, a few from Athens, and a few bandit ones too. That's a lot of ship sinking. Just make sure you're flying Xenia's colors when you do the sinking. I'll pay you well to ensure the message is understood. Sails need repair. We've got a fight coming! Everyone, ready for impact! I need archers!
What kind of message do you want to send? Thinking some ships while flying her colors should... That's one... We're still... Sounds to me... If we're going to take more ter... No arguments. I've sunk the ships. I knew I liked you. Xenia will be pleased that her waters are back under her control. Flattery is fine, but I'm here for the bounty. Of course. Doesn't look... It was simple. An unarmed merchant ship. You gave that to Poseidon and then ran us onto the rocks. We aren't far from chaos. Someone will find us. I hope the sharks find you first. Stop! Keep the fuck out of this! The captain's going to get what's coming to him. What has this man done? What hasn't he done? Did he offend you, poor delicate pirates? ...should have never agreed to work with these Malakas. We finally get a job from Xenia, and he sails us into the fucking ground. How did you end up on this island? I can explain. I am... ...himself. As I was saying, we got into a great sea battle, which we won, thanks to me, and the victory was so sweet! I didn't notice how close to the rocks we were. A minor accident. Now... If you could just get us back to Chaos... This man is your captain. You can only be captain if you got a ship. And he ain't got one no more. I can make it worth your while if you get me back to Chaos. Stand aside. 
Get out of my way. I'm taking Captain Votarzis back to Chaos. You'll be sorry you stuck your nose in where it doesn't belong. He's fucked us over too many times. No, the Captain won't leave here alive. Get behind me, and stay close. By the god! Help me! Some fight, eh? Thank you, stranger. Now, if you can just get me back to Chaos, there's a reward in it for you. There better be. You've seen what happens to people I disagree with. Let's get to... Vatarzis! That's not what I expected. Vatarzis! I thought I lost you this time. Where is your ship? <sighs> The rocks around the isle were treacherous. Oh, I'm well aware of his nautical prowess. A goat could sail those waters. Malaka. What's important is that you're alive, brother. He's your brother? It would be easier if he wasn't. What happened to the crew? Those dogs turned on me. If it wasn't for this Mystios... He would be dead. Then you will be rewarded, Mystios. Family is family. No reward necessary. No. I am in your debt, your armor, Gortarzes. Give it to her. But this was father's! It's mine, but... That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. It looks like I'll have to report you, Socrates. It's what a good citizen would do, right? Oh, very good. Although a bit preemptive without all the details, wouldn't you say? It was a joke. The real question is whether there is truth behind the joke, or if one's mind can be changed once the whole story is revealed. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's what...
time for a ride. Are you the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystheus judge me... Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had the Drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Did you steal the horse to use it, or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There's no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. Any reason you picked this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? Have you decided what should be done? If he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It'll do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another... Both, but an equally good chance that it's neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just, or should the man be punished? If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So, in times like these, people like us get to determine the Lord. Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. here could help me find my mother. I should look around for Anthusa's whereabouts. I'm looking for Anthusa. Is she here? Wouldn't I like to know? Sunrise, sunset, I save my drachmi for the taste of the divine. The Terra are hard to come by. So you haven't seen them? Not with the monger's army on the loose. The Terra won't tolerate.
Are you Anthusa? Me? Anthusa? I could be anyone for you, lamb. I charge less than the Ethera. But do I ever know my way around the hay bed? So her name means something to you? Anthusa? She's been around forever, but I never met her. I know the Etera all work as one, on equal footing, but Anthusa is special. She talks, they listen. I haven't met any Etera yet. Don't believe all you hear. They sell what a lot of us sell in Corinth, but for them, it's not just about the flesh. They're merchants of a sort, streetwise, can talk as nice as they look. Sounds like a good trade to work in. You don't want to be an Etera? Not in my prime anymore, am I, Miss Dios? By the time I study what they did, I'll be serving clients on my deathbed. If the Etera aren't here, Tito will be down here in the dirt with us. You want them, you'll find them upon the hill. The Acrocorinth. By the temple, keeping Aphrodite's worshippers satisfied. <laughs> what I'm looking for. People come here to worship Aphrodite, but the view is the real beauty. Who do they think they are? I need to stop them. Nino the spot is feel like a safety keeper. You'll never be Looking for the Etera. And the Etera aren't. The Etera? <laughs> They're much wiser than we are. They realize their visitors were all getting robbed on the way in. There's no avoiding the mongers' men in Corinth. around with a name like the monger don't let him hear you say that last time his name came out of a fool's mouth the man's tongue was sliced out so the monger is a corinthian criminal master of the underground markets he rules with one hand open for money and the other clenched around a weapon a drachmi and blood hungry monsters what he is so he's hunting the Atera for money exactly since the Etera bring in so much Drachmi, he wants everything they control. The thieves are better off robbing them than us. If you know of the Etera, then you know of Anthusa. I'm looking for her. They say she's everywhere, though I've never seen her. But the Etera see everything. I've seen them gather by the spring of Pireni, down the mountain. They meet clients there and then take them elsewhere in secret. Good. Maybe pray to Aphrodite from home next time.
So Cassandra has finally found us. You know me? And you know her. This is Anthusa. We saw you help the worshippers at the temple of Aphrodite. You've proven yourself a friend. Hear that, Icarus? Her sight's as good as yours. Someone also spoke very highly of you. Surprise! Phoebe! Aspasia sent me. I work for her now, remember? But why here? Corinth isn't safe. I had to tell Anthusa you were coming. Aspasia taught me a new word, emissari. That's me. And now I can help you. I guess that would be all right. Who knows what I'll get into. Yes! Just make sure you're extra careful. We need to move inside, Cassandra. We're not the only ones watching. Come with me, and we'll talk. Can I come? As long as you're quiet. To what do I owe your visit? Alcibiades told me about you. <laughs> Did he? Go on. I'm looking for a woman from Sparta. A runaway. Long ago. She may have gone by the name of Mirini. Who's that? She's my mother. Your mother? You don't have a mother. Marcos told me he raised you. What did I tell you about talking? I see. There will be time to respond to your question, but that time isn't now. As long as you tell me what you know, sooner or later... You will have to trust me. You don't get to where I stand without credibility. My word is yours. And you can always trust Cassandra. Why don't you go play, Phoebe? Let me and Anthusa talk. If you say so... I propose a trade. Help me. Help us get stronger. Strong enough to rid Corinth of the monger permanently. You have a deal. A wise decision. Dear Mystios, I haven't made it this far being a fool. I know when to take a chance. Then we're in business. Now, you've heard of the monger? From what the worshippers say, he's someone I should watch out for. They're right. I'm sure his victims wish they'd been more vigilant. My eyes are wide open. Then you've held your ground well. You're not dead. Not yet, anyway. But he's employed enough thugs to amass a small army. Now they're attacking people in the street, us included. He's been killing a Terra? Killing? We're smarter than that. But action must be taken before it goes that far. I'm not the only one who needs help. My girls, the Malis and Irina, are suffering too. More monger trouble? I wouldn't doubt it. Work against their aggressors, and then it will be his turn to suffer. You'll find the Malis here at the spring, but Irina has gone to Bellerophron's garden. What's wrong with Irina? She's looking for Cleo, another Etera, who's gone missing. I've been too distracted to help in the search. Has the Malis told you what's wrong? She hasn't told me much, but I know these girls as well as I know myself. Something's not right. I'll see what I can do for them. Good. Weapons, mostly. Which is all the more lucrative now that he has a war to supply. So, if someone interrupts the monger's supply... ...his men go hungry. Exactly. Go to his warehouse, in the port of Lecheo, and burn his cargo. All of it. We'll let Chaos take care of the rest. Why rob people who can't put two drachmi together if he has a business? It's illegitimate, but gets him rich. Even this smuggling is a front. He steals slaves, innocents, who shouldn't be harmed, but his thugs can burn. Seems to me that burning his biggest source of income is asking for trouble. 
I want to put the new muscle I've acquired on Shaw. Plus, violence is the only language he understands. I know many people who speak that language. Then the warehouse will be cinders. So you're here to help us, Mistios? You don't look like a monger spy. I'm more the in-your-face type. You have a monger problem, Damalis? I might. One of my regulars has changed. He was a decent man once, but now he's gone bad. Corinth seems to have a shortage of decent people. I need someone with muscle to figure out what's behind the change. Why he's different. He's gotten you scared. He asks me questions I don't know the answers to about our Drachmi. Where we keep money, what Anthusa invests in, as though we're Athenian aristocrats. Can't Anthusa intervene? I'm not naive. I won't expose the others to this, so we can go after them next. He might anyway. Sounds like he needs answers. Who was he before all this? Obsessive, but never threatening. He didn't stand out in symposiums until he had his Drachmi act for him. Well, something's sure giving him courage now. I'll see what he has to say for himself. If he's not lurking around here, he'll be at his house. I want this to end today. It will. People tend to show their true selves to my spear, whether they like it or not. You found me! Shh! What are you doing here? I heard the Malis talking about her crazy client earlier, and I wanted to help. You may be right. I could use you. See? That was my plan all along. I'm going to talk to Damalis' client and see what he has to say. I've been here, spying, and I heard him mumbling to himself. He's weird. But maybe if I tell you what he said, it could help? Let's hear it. Let me think. Um, he said something about having to meet someone at Faye's pig farm tonight. That could help. It could. Did he mention why? To get something from them. A deed to some land, I think he said. Well, that's something. What else? Oh, he said their name. Dinomenes. Wonder who that is. Good to know. Thank you, Phoebe the spy. Not bad, huh? Time to act. Listen closely. You sneak inside and see what you can find in his house while I distract him. Quiet like a mouse. Good. But if you get caught, run. Right out the door. We'll meet afterwards. Promise? I'm ready. Let's go. <clears throat> Do I know you? No. But I know you. If Miron sent you, tell him I was going to pay him back. It could be anything. You have nothing on me. You're going to Fair's pig farm. And meeting some like-minded person there, I hear. Where did you hear that? You're wrong. Dead wrong. They owe you a deed to some land. What that land will be used for, I don't know. A spy? What else do you have on me? Cough it up! Dinocrates is his name. The man you're meeting. I know no one called Dinocrates. You almost had me there. What? Wait! <gasps> Thief! Thieves! Get out! Guards! Get them!
wasn't what she wanted you to do. I dealt with him, didn't I? Well, at least I could sneak in, okay? Look. What's this? A coin purse? His things aren't very nice, though. If he's rich, why have all that junk? He must have just gotten paid. I've seen that iron poker used before. He didn't have a furnace. Why does he have this? It's not used for fire. It's a weapon. For torture. I saw someone use it in Fokis. Someone huge. Huge like the monger? Just like the monger. What does the letter say? It's mean. It says he'll get hurt if he keeps doing things wrong. Yeah, I thought as much. And it says more. That he needs to bring the Malis to a place here in Corinth. There's directions. What do you think it is? Don't know. But I'll find out. Right behind you. Not this time. Go to the Malis and wait for me there. Oh, please. You've done enough for today. It could be dangerous. I'll come find you after. Place to bring the Malis. A prison? I should find out. Chains? Oil? This can't be what I think it is. Malaka, what is this? A lock of hair. It smells familiar somehow. Gotcha! All right, you little shit. Who sent you? What are you doing here? I wanted to help. Give her here. Leave, Phoebe. Now! Don't take another step. You're brave coming here. You want a whipping? The monger would love to take you on. He'd rot in the underworld for that. Prude, this is Corinthia. Anything goes in this sex, Andron. And the monger will be satiated. You're as sick as he is, worm. Whether they like it or not, any victim he likes gets his special treatment. I'll tell him you volunteer. You'll get my special treatment right now. I'll fucking kill you.
Cassandra, your little friend beat you back. You made it. And fast. I know all the shortcuts now. I'm sorry, Cassandra. It's all right. You had good intentions. I thought I could sneak in, like before. I'm glad you didn't. Especially with what I found there. What happened to you? I just left the monger sex, Andron, if you can believe it. And it's where you were headed. No. It's true. Your client was being forced to take you there. And we found these. What does this mean? It means the monger got to him. He does have his hand in everything. At least I know how to deal with him now that I know what he's after. You won't have to. I took care of him myself. I told Cassandra she shouldn't have. <sighs> it had to come to this. Malaka, what a fool he was. The monger's the real fool. He'll find that out soon enough. By Aphrodite. Cleo better get back here soon. Here's at your service. How did you know I needed help? Anthusa told me you could use a hand. Cleo, one of our girls, didn't meet me for prayer this morning. She wasn't at home either. I'd go investigate, but I'm not sure what I could do on my own. She might have been taken. I asked around. One of our clients said he saw Cleo brought aboard the ship. The men were armed, so there was nothing he could do. I'd pay a lot of drachmi to get her back. Armed? Take me to the ship. We'll get Cleo back. Follow me. Who do you think took her? It wouldn't be the first time the monger's men came after one of us.
stay back. I'm here to rescue you. Rescue me? You sunk my boat, pirate. Put the knife away. I'm a friend. What do you mean? Your friend Erina hired me to save you from these men and bring you back. Erina? I commissioned that ship to steal me away from Corinth. You're escaping? From what? You have no idea what the monger does to people. The things I've seen, no one in Corinth is safe. The Greek world is being ravaged by war. You're no safer on these seas than you are in Corinth. Mistios, please. We were heading to Mykonos, which is safe. If you'll take me there, I can pay you the toll I would have paid my crew. All right, I'll get you there. Next time my crew docks at Mykonos, you can depart. In the meantime, welcome aboard. Thank you, Mistios. This is what's best, I promise. There's much to do, and many unknowns on our way. You've more than made up for killing my abductors, Mistios. Thank you. Try to stay out of trouble, all right? I'll consider it. Put my coins to good use and wish me luck. Good luck. Islands, two sides of the same coin. Thelos, sacred birthplace of Artemis and Apollo, and Mykonos, where people do everything that's forbidden on Thelos. Read me the note again. Eagle bearing Mystios. That's you. Otharkis. Cruel leader of Delos Islands takes money from our pockets and food from our mouths, all to feed his inset... inseti... Insatiable. Yes! His insatiable thirst for power. Odarkis is one of them, Varnavas. The ones hunting my family. Keep reading. We are a modest but fierce group of rebels who'd pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our vile oppressor. I pray the winds guide you swiftly to our shores, Mystios. Our people are dying. Signed, Kira. There is work to be done. Gods forbid we enjoy a single moment on this glorious beach! Does the note say where Kira is? There are two locations marked. A camp along the northwestern coast, and a hideout that looks like it's underneath the city. Podarki sounds like a cruel man. He's worse. I once heard a family was late in paying their dues to the gods. Podarki sent his men to their farm and took the young ones from their beds. When their mater and pater woke up to feed the animals, they discovered the animals were already feeding on the corpses of their sons. The sooner I send this monster to Hades, the better. Even Hades would shudder in his presence. This place seems... nice. <laughs> this island has a giant history, my friend! We don't have time, Varnavas. I meant Mykonos literally has a history involving giants. Apollo was once friends with Hyperboreans from the snowy north. Until one day, they sent two maidens and five of their men to Zelos with offerings for the son of Zeus. They were never seen again. And Mykonos? The island itself was built from the corpses of giants slain by the legendary Heracles. My mind wandered. 
Remind me what the note said. Anarchies, <clears throat> cruel leader, thirst for power, pay you handsomely, rebellion, people die. It's time I met with this Kira. I'll have the ship ready in case we need any... immediate departures. That was Kefalonia, and that was mostly your fault. Ha <laughs> ha! Here, Cassandra! Here, Varnavas. There's the rebel hideout. Seems like a good place for a hideout. I'm looking for the one called Kira. I've... Are you here to spy, Athenian? Or maybe... You are Athena herself. Dressed in a dirty disguise? Do I really look like a spy to you? Podarkis and his men have been hunting and killing us without mercy. His spies are everywhere. He won't rest until all who oppose him are dead. We are all that's left of the resistance. This is the first night we aren't fighting for our lives. And it could be our last. And suddenly, you show up. This is why I'm here. It's your symbol, right? You're the Mystios who bears the Eagle of Zeus. My apologies. These are dangerous times for anyone waging war against the Athenian Empire and the Delian League. I am Kira. Your note mentions Podarkis. I'm going to find him. We've never been able to get close enough without taking heavy casualties. This is why I sent for you. I thought Delos was the heart of the Delian League. Athens' pride and joy. We were, until Athens took the League's treasury away from Delos. Why? So they could build a statue of Athena mocking Apollo. The people pleaded with Podarkis not to trust Athens with the treasury, but his thirst for power made him deaf to his people. I came here to help you deal with one man, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to the mighty Cassandra, and Sparta too. Podarkis discovered the other cap and sent Athenian soldiers to attack. Malaka! You and your rebels are too drunk to fight. Leave the soldiers to me. <laughs> if you think I'm going to miss a chance to kill Athenians, you're the one who's drunk. Did Sparta answer your call for help? A polemarchos named Thaletas and a handful of Spartans landed on Mykonos, not...
You fought well, Kira. You too, Spartan? I was, but that was a long time ago. Spartan blood is eternal, stranger. What's your name? This is Cassandra, the one I told you about. They call me Thaletas. I was Polemarchos to the Spartans here. Was? Our ship was sunk. Our generals killed. There are only a few of us left. We've all lost friends to this war. And we will mourn them later. She's right. We shouldn't be standing here drenched in Athenian blood. We'll be safe in the hideout. Let's talk there. Will you come to the hideout now, or meet us there later? There's no time to waste. We'll go to the hideout now. How long till Podarkis finds us? We're right under his nose! His nose is so high in the air, he couldn't find the statue of Artemis Agrotera if he was standing on her head! We know where he lives! I say we knock down his door and run our spears through his face! That's a terrible plan! The Spartan phalanx is impenetrable in a ground assault! Not when there's only twelve of you! You think with your heart! That's what I like about you! But you're a general! To those men now, you need to think with your head! All you do is hide in caves and lurk in shadows! We didn't come here to hide! We came here to fight! And we will! But right now, we're outnumbered! We must be strategic! Cassandra, what do you think we should do? Kira's right. Taking them head-on would be suicide. Sailing here was suicide! Right now, my men are on the beach. That's where I'll be! Thaletas, don't! If you decide you actually want to win this rebellion, come find me. Ah, oh, Spartans. Don't mind him. He'll be fine after he kicks something. But I'm glad you agree with me, Cassandra. Meet me at the Temple of Artemis. There we can discuss how to take down Podarkis. <sighs> this is going to be a long rebellion. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you didn't throw another blade at me. I know, I know. You came all this way and I was cruel to you. Well, you weren't the first, and you won't be the last. Dillians are kind people. At least we were. Before him. Podarkis. That man's been hunting me my whole life. Then why have you let him live this long? Let him live? Let him live? I've been trying to kill him since I was old enough to draw a bow, but that coward hides behind endless shields, and this is the closest I can get without people dying. This is why I sent for you. To help me get close enough to fire an arrow into Podarkis's black heart. Then it's time we turn this predator into prey. How do we get past his guards? Take them away, and the guards fall. Scouts reported Podarkis' supplies and weapons were stockpiled in the old ruins on Delos Island. I'll go to Delos, find their stockpiles, and destroy them. <sighs> What's with all the whispering? Shh! If the soldiers hear us, they'll kill me. You're the Mystios working for Kira and the rebels, yes? I am. Yes, you are. Many whispers of your deeds, Mystios, many whispers. Many secrets, too, about the rebel girl. If you know something, spit it out! If the soldiers see me, they'll kill me. Apollo knows they already tried. There's a house near the market, been boarded up for ages. Sneaky sneak your way in. We'll talk after. Strange. I should find the house, see what this beggar has to say. 
para la I'm coming for you, Podarkis. A note was left behind. A warning from Podarkis. He was paying this woman to keep quiet. About what? This woman was killed. Left in the open without dignity. Huh. An Athenian spear tip broke off in her ribs. Bloody footprints. A child's. Must have been hiding in that chest. Wooden dolls. A mother and child. One engraved with the letter M and the other K. Nothing else to find here. I need to speak with that strange woman. Oh! And what did the Mystios find? A body. A woman. She was killed by an Athenian spear. This is all? There was a letter from Podarkis. Said he'd kill them both if she broke her silence. Both? Why kill a child unless... Oh, it was his. Shh! They could be listening. Now tell me, quietly, what else did you find? The dolls. Engraved with the letters K and M. M is for mother. You asked who I worked for. The little doll with the K? The child was Kira. Yes, yes, which means... By the gods! Podarkis is Kira's potter. Very wise, Mistyos. Very wise indeed. Kira needs to know. She'll never believe you. Never. Her whole life she hunts the man who sent Athenians to kill her mother in front of her terrified eyes. But the gods spared little Kira. She escaped. How do you know so much? I was there, Mistyos. I protected the little one. The Athenians were so busy trying to kill me, Kira slipped right past their blades. You were involved in this. My name was Otonic came to the house. Little one wanted to meet her pater. Podarkis made me send her away. But she kept coming. So Podarkis sent me to her house with a note. The warning. She didn't listen. Podarkis sent me back to her house, this time with Athenian soldiers. Kira needs to know Podarkis is her father. But I won't confront her until I have proof. The woman came to Podarkis' house one night, begged me to give him the doll Kira made for him. If Podarkis had it, he might have kept it somewhere. Only the gods would know. I will find this doll. Now the Mistyos knows who she works for. The rebels should know too. If Podarkis hid that doll somewhere in his house, I'm going to find There's it. There's the doll. What I did, I did for the glory of Delos. You acted alone, and you will die alone. deserve the truth as well. Blood is everything to some people. They could abandon her if they knew Podarkis was her father. East from here, on the north bit of Tavern Point. Thanks.
Where's Kira? She's... Miss me already, Miss Dios? Kira, there's something I need to tell you. That look on your face, so serious. Sit, relax, drink some wine. What I'm about to say is for you alone. Follow me. Now that you have me all alone, what is it you want to tell me? There is no other way to say this. Podarkis is your father. <laughs> what sort of joke is this? This isn't a joke. I will kill you where you stand! This can't be. Kira, I'm sorry. How do you find this? I found your old house. I know about your mother. I can still hear her screams. A storm of blue armor and red blades tore through our home. I had to run through Mater's blood to escape. I never returned to that place. It was best you didn't. It's good you told me in private. The men don't need to know this, not yet. But please, leave me for a while. I need to be alone. Denied Artemis, guide my bow. I pray to you with all my heart that Cassandra doesn't scare off the animals with her heavy footsteps. I thought I was being quiet. If that was you being quiet, we'll have nothing but trampled grass to eat for dinner. Nice altar. The flowers remind me of sweeter days. But your real concern should be, how skilled are you with that bow? I've seen you hunt. You don't need my help. Oh, I bet you capture any prey you lock those sharp eyes with. Sounds like a challenge. Come, the Ibex is swift. There's a spot down here where I used to hunt. Same for me. I started by catching and cooking rodents. <laughs> they make a good soup. But look how far you've come. How far we've come. how you use that bow. An empty Your sky with the bow. That too. <sighs> Your form is perfect. With the bow. That too. You're skilled with a bow. Among other things.
My people will be well fed, and the gods will have their sacrifice, thanks to you. You're a great hunter. Why did you actually want me here? Don't be naive. There's something between us, even though I know I shouldn't act on it. Because you love Thaletas. Or at least I thought I did, until you arrived. The hunt clears my mind, to reflect on the words that passed between us. Is that a good thing? I know a spot down by the water. It's quiet. We'd be alone. What do you say? I'm all yours. There's no Ibexes here. Billions have suffered for so long. This is the first time I've felt happiness since the war began. You can bring that to your people. These islands deserve peace. So do you. And what about you? When this is all done, we could always use another... My journey isn't over yet. But I may settle down someday. <laughs> no! So the pirate has one blade at my throat and one at my stomach, and he says... How do you want to die, Mistios? Fast or slow? My gods, what did you do? He was so focused on me, he never noticed my spear in his leg. He was dead before he knew what happened. His leg? A little trick my mother taught me. Why is it so easy to talk with you? Because we've lived similar lives, been through similar struggles, even though we grew up so far apart. I want you, Cassandra. Here, now, under the stars. I've wanted you since I laid eyes on you. Mykonos is definitely my favorite island. <laughs> Thaletas can't know about this. I agree. In time, he will. For now, he needs to focus on the rebellion. So do we. But uh, first... Eagle Bearer, my name is Herodianos, second to Thaletas in battle. The dogs of war howl for blood, and thanks to you, Sparta now howls back. Sounds like a lot of howling. Fight with us! Together we'll run our shields through their skulls and spears through their hearts! I'd be honored to fight with Sparta. To battle!
The people are happy. As they should be! For the first time since Ares cursed us with war, the Delos Islands know freedom! But where's Kira? It's not like her to miss a chance to drink with her troops. She told me you kept her secret. I'm still shocked. Otharkis was a complicated man, but he was still her father. She snuck off to send him to the ferryman alone. If Odarkis were my family, I'd have tied him to a tree and left him to rot. You and many others on Delos, but this is still more celebration than funeral. There's wine to drink and tales to tell. 
<laughs> Make the tale great. The troops deserve it. Even Thaletas. Certainly, if you can find him. And when you do, remind him. I still plan to tell him how I lost this eye. And the crew? Ready to sail? On your order. But first, let the crew enjoy a drink and a song. You deserve one too. Mykonos is a lot busier than Kefalonia. Letters? What are you doing out here? Thinking. Praying. This was my time, Cassandra! What? This glory was supposed to be mine. But you took everything from me! You took Podarkis. You took these islands. You took Kira, my love! Be reasonable, Thaletas. I tried to be reasonable. I am not reasonable. I... I'm Spartan! for the ferryman. Go now. Into the river of black night and embrace the boundless gloom. You shall wander, obscure, even in the house of Hades, flitting among the sand of the dead. I don't have to say goodbye alone. I'm glad I'm not alone. I've wanted to watch him burn for so long. Now that it's happened, I thought I'd feel peace. And what do you feel? I used to feel vengeful. Now, 
empty. I was in your place once. The vengeance dies. Then the emptiness dies too. Give it up. Time! I gave my entire life! I want it done. Kronos devours his children, rips them fairly. Fate is cruel, and the gods are wicked. If the gods are displeased, offer them a sacrifice. A sacrifice? What do I have left that they haven't taken from me? Kira, stop. You're too close to the edge. Nothing. All of this was for nothing. I'm a rebel with nothing left to rebel against. It didn't bring her back. Her? Who? Kersa, cruel gods. I will see you, mother. And father. Kira, stop! No pain. No pain. We will be together Kira! again! Look ready to go. Podarkis is dead, but this is no time to celebrate. The Spartans and the rebels have both suffered. Ours is a time of loss, it's true. Would you rather we just set sail? I've done more than enough here. I'll round up the crew. See you back at the ship. Socrates! The rebels are hunting Athenians. What are you doing here? I came to teach, as I always do, but don't worry. I sail on a merchant ship set for Attica in the morning. Wise as always. Thanks for coming to see us off. Speaking of being off... Varnavas? Are we ready to sail? The crew are in fine spirits, if a little hungover. But the ship is ready. If only we weren't leaving the people of Vilos alone, without Kira or Thaletas to rebuild what they lost to the rebellion. Are any of us truly alone who have our friends and allies beside us? Exactly! Do you remember what you told me when you first set foot on these sands? That we were here to finish a job. That's what we set out to do, and that's precisely what you did! They don't call you the mighty Mystios for nothing! <laughs> Where do we sail to next? I won't rest until I know my family is safe. We do what we've always done. Follow their trail until I've brought everyone together again.
on sacred soil. Good people. Socrates, you just make friends wherever you go, don't you? Cassandra, what a pleasant surprise. What brings you to Thelos? Once I heard the great Socrates was on Thelos, I raced over to hear his words of wisdom. Ah, but what are words? Can they be wise, or are they simply words? Oh, no, you don't. I'm not getting sucked into one of these debates again. Yet right now, there's a situation I would love your opinion on. Fine. Soldiers captured the rebel. He stole from the sanctuary to help finance the rebellion. When guards attempted to apprehend the man, he killed one of them. Murder on Delos? They're probably going to kill him. Indeed. Though it's illegal to end his life here, so he awaits his fate to be transported to Mykonos. Where do I come in? Would you say this rebel deserves death? That killing him brings justice? Let me answer that by asking you this. What exactly is justice? A brilliant question. He stole, which is wrong. But it was for the freedom of his people, which is right. He killed a man. To save his own life. He broke a sacred law, one he knew honored the gods. So you're saying he can kill and steal? From the law, are we not like the animals? <laughs> you know my opinion on that. Can I go now? Of course, of course. There's just one more thing. Uh, there always is. The rebel is being held north of here in the Estiatorium. They're shipping him to Mykonos tomorrow. Wait. All this just to convince me to save the man? Convince, never. Though I am curious. Now that you know where he's held and why, would you save him? I'm going to pay this rebel a visit. Sounds like we have a lot in common. I thought you might, though I have no drachmi to give. Only knowledge. Which one should prefer, for it is perpetual, not transitory? Well, that's... something, I think. <laughs> the weapon is there. But you are too gentle with those pigs. Keep your opinion to yourself. You've caused enough trouble. Now follow me. Death to our oppressors! And anyone else who tries to claim the Delos Islands! Delians are free! More Delians will die if you don't shut up. Silence is what led to this. <laughs> you have a very loud mouth. You could have gotten us both killed. Then our sacrifice would set fire to the hearts of the rebels! Then cast every non-Delian into the sea for Poseidon to chew up and spit out! You realize I'm not Delian. The Spartans who fought and died for the rebellion are also not Delian. Athenians want these islands for our wealth. The Spartans want these islands for Sparta. I won't let them have it. We don't need them. We don't want them. Delians should rule Delos alone! Now, if you don't mind, I'm going straight to Kira. The rebels must leave their caves. The time to attack is now! Go, and don't come back. Every soldier on Vilos will be looking for you. Let them find me. I already sent one to his grave. I'd love to send another. Malaka! So gratis! Another foreigner... How was your encounter with the rebellious prisoner? You never told me he was an extremist lunatic. 
Ah, but who am I to judge what is too much or too crazy? Are we not both at some point or another? He would have thrown you and your philosophies into the sea. <laughs> Perhaps when I was thinner, both in weight and philosophy. So, tell me, were you able to resolve the situation without bloodshed? The rebel had guards. I relieved them. Hmm, interesting. You thought the life of a thief and a murderer was worth more than that of soldiers doing their duty. I wasn't even thinking about him, to be honest. And what of the rebel? Should be on his way back to Mykonos, if he knows what's good for him. Our choices are like ripples on water. They seem tiny and insignificant at the beginning, but they can become devastating tidal waves by the time they run their course. It's a pleasure, Socrates. I can always count on you to give me a devastating headache. <laughs> the pleasure is mine, Cassandra. Hope to see you around the symposiums again. Don't hold your breath. You're bleeding. A lot. Come to turn me into the priests? Depends what you've done. Don't know if anyone told you, but it's illegal to die on this godforsaken island. So I've been told. Shame nobody told the beast roaming around. Vrach me to the one who kills it. If you're paying, I'll hunt and kill this beast for you. You're not the first hunter to tell me that. But I still have all my Vrachmi. I've hunted many beasts. What am I hunting this time? <sighs> I'd call it a bear, but I'd be lying. This creature is Artemis's nightmare. Where's the beast now? Got as far away from that thing as I could. You'll find it north of here, near the coast. Just follow the trail on bodies. The bloodier the mess, the closer you are. You're not from around here, are you? Came through Arcadia. But Corinthia is my home. I'll find the beast and kill it. Try not to bleed out before I return. Mighty beast, but you did not belong here. Bloody handprint. 
hasn't been here long. A corpse. This one's had its guts ripped out. A feast for the birds. A shipwreck. Might explain how that bear got to the use. record says the bear came from... There's nothing left to find here. I should return to the woman. You're alive! And the monster? The bear's dead. And you owe me payment. But first, let's talk about you. Arcadia, right? Yes. The bear was being smuggled from Arcadia. I found a record of what was on your ship, and your bloody handprints. Talk! All right, all right! We were smuggling the bear for a man named Sargon. Poseidon had other ideas. One of his storms crashed us here, and that evil beast broke free. It went right for the crew. That explains the bodies. They were my family! for the person who brought this curse to their sacred land. You wouldn't! I would. Pay me, and maybe your secret dies along with that bear. Despicable, Mistyos! My family is dead, and you want more Brahmi? I might be injured, but I can still kill you! Where is Cleo? Your friend is safe. That's what matters. So, she's really gone? She's not coming back. No. Thank you. I... You promise she's safe? You have my word. This is the place. Time to burn some cargo. You! Please! Help!
you fight like a Spartan. There's resolve in you. We have that in common. I saw innocents trapped in the flames. The ones in the warehouse. I freed them already. A good soldier acts when he's told. A great one is two steps ahead. Thank you. My name's Cassandra. I'd thank you too, if I knew who you were. Razidas of Sparta. You're a newcomer to Corinth. You're a spy too? An old Spartan tactic? Huh. I have my ways. I get the sense that's a Corinthian hobby. Anthusa has her Etera watching from every post. Ah, Anthusa. We disagree, but have a common enemy. The monger? We agree he should be killed, but we differ on how. So, Sparta also has a monger problem. What do you know about him? His weapon has a far reach. Corinth is allied with Sparta. It's our duty to protect them. Then working alongside Anthusa is your best bet. If she had her way, the Mungo would be flayed in the... What do you want to do with him? Right now, the Mungo rules Corinth. I want to replace him with minimal bloodshed. He'll only be dethroned if he's killed. It's simple. Yes. Diplomacy isn't something he understands. From what I hear, I'm not surprised. We arrested his top men, armed the citizens, tried to stir the police against him. It never came to be. The only thing left to try is a quick slice of the blade. That would do it. We'd lure him into Corinthia's sacred cave, and it'd be over. By the time I leave, Corinthia, the monger will be dead. Do that, and Sparta will be in your debt. I was Spartan, once. Once? Until I was thrown off Mount Aietos as a child, and left for dead. You're the daughter of General Nikolaos? All of Sparta knows your name! And here you are, alive! Impossible! I survived. I raised myself alone, while life continued in Sparta. Never mind being a Spartan. Those of good character will forgive, and should be forgiven. I'm on the hunt for my mother, Nirini. The only... You knew Nikolaos? A good general, but a stubborn Spartan. And rewarded for his loyalty. But he disappeared, and his body was never found. The state pronounced him dead. That's all right. I haven't seen him since I was a child. You don't know anything about Mirini, do you? I know that no one should have to endure such tragedy alone. And I heard she left Sparta that night. No one has forgotten Mirini. From what I know, she wanted them to forget. There's no going back now. The displaced can always find their way home. The gods have just decided you must fight for it. They couldn't make it any easier. Chin up, Spartan. Easy doesn't exist. Goodbye, Brasidas. We'll meet again. I'm in the fight with you. Show courage. Your plan seemed to work. The mongers' thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Brasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I'm with you. We'll put on a show. Meet me and my girls there. The public has no idea what spectacle they're about to witness.
You wanted the fucking show? I wanted you to see the face of every person you've wronged. I'll cover their faces with that precious blood of yours. Just like I should have done with Mirini. You'll never rule these streets, you pig. Oh, you bet your pretty face I will. Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off and send it to the cult as proof! You... you knew my mother? She was big fucking trouble, but I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head! Not if I bring her yours first. They won't have much to say after I smash your brains all over the stage. Get the fuck off my streets! They're not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets! People of Corin, behold the weasel that steals your bread, the scourge that spoils your crops. You've waited long enough to get your hands on him. And the pleasure is all mine. Feel better. I have been starving for this. He deserved all of it. And you deserve your answers. Come, let's speak in private. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. There's more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Corin from that beast. Everybody benefits, everybody wins. You've proven to be a very valuable business partner. Speaking of business, you owe me, Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. 
you were her friend. Perhaps on the surface, but she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. How did you come to know her? There was so much rain that night. I saw her sleeping in the streets and gave her shelter. She was a vagrant? I wonder what my father would think of that. I didn't know what happened to her. All she told me was that she'd left the place that tore her apart. Sparta. Did she find work? She kept to herself, with one eye always on the port. She could have stayed with us, but I think she was looking for something else. Was there no mention of her past? A husband? Family? Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tihi owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Visit me any time. I'll catch you up on Corinth's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Siren Song. If I can find some... Close the ship. I'll be one step closer to finding her. Nice view. It just got a lot nicer. I was hoping to see you again. Alcibiades, what are you doing outside of Athens? Someone like me is always on the move. I've docked my ship in every port. I'm sure you have. If you're here for more than the view, I have a task for you. It is crucial this package gets to its proper recipient. It's not for me, but a man named Theodoros. I'll help. But it's only that little box? One should never judge something by its size, you know. A small thing may very well make a huge impact. You said this package isn't from you. Why do you have it then? It simply came into my hands, that's all. The Odoros asked for my help, like I'm asking for yours now. Why can't this Theodoros deliver it himself? You're a curious one, aren't you? Some questions don't have answers. Sometimes things just... are. You've traveled a lot. What's your favorite place to go? Oh, a personal question. Interesting. The world is filled with beautiful places. To pick my favorite would be like picking my favorite Etera. I could do it. All right. Who am I giving the package to? There's a man named Vardas near the Corinthian military fort. He's one of their stronger... assets. And I just tell him it's from you. <sighs> no, uh, from the Odoros. Don't forget, the Odoros. You are the Mystios I sent for. What do you want? This is for you. Give it here. Is this some kind of joke? This is a cast of someone's dick. What's this engraving? This is for your wife, Thalia, for when she starts to miss me. Tell me now, who said this? Do you know a man named Theodoros? Theodoros? He'll pay for this with his life. I'll destroy his men. I'll destroy his ship. He'll regret ever touching Thalia.
I was just starting to miss you. I hope you delivered the, uh, package? Vardas threatened to kill the others when I told him. I also wasn't expecting the package to be... well... that. It was a nice surprise, wasn't it? I can make another one for you too, if you'd like. Another one? You... It was mine, yes. It looked good, didn't it? I needed to get the Odoros out of the way, and now he will be. I impress myself sometimes. Whatever you say. Why don't we let our bodies do the talking? Surely you had thoughts of it as well when you saw the cast of me? Here? Before the gods? Let's make an offering. I'd like to see the gods stop us. I have a feeling they prefer to watch. I'd say we gave the gods a good show. Ha! Huh. I couldn't agree more. I'd love an encore soon. Tell me where to find Hippocrates. Forgive me, but I, I really can't help you. Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patience. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. Out of my way. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. ...of Hera's watch to help the sick and injured. Is this his workshop? It's Hippocrates' clinic. Here we study healing, offer treatments, and provide care to anyone who asks. Why not work with the priests in the sanctuary of Asclepios? It's what this region is known for, right? The priests try their best, but their methods are stuck in the past. Hippocrates is researching new cures and treatments. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. What kind of equipment? They're just medical necessities. Knives and gut for sutures, bandages... Oh, and uh, an enema bag for clearing the bowels. That had to better be properly wrapped. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? My services... don't come free. Here, take this. Though perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's watch, near the Cave of Pan. He'll be standing before a long line of sick people. You'll know him by his, um, bald spot. Though, I wouldn't mention it.
Anything a mercenary can do for you, stranger? I know who you are. And I wanted to thank you, Eagle Bearer. For what? You remember the oracle you talked to Adelphi? She's my cousin. You helped her realize the error of her ways, and she ran away from the cult. She told me everything. The Oracle was working for some horrible people. She should be ashamed of what she did for them. She is. She's trying to make up for what she did. Please, though. They're searching for her everywhere, and we need to get the Cult of Cosmos off her scent. What do you have in mind? My neighbor recognized her and is blackmailing us, saying if I don't give him all my earnings, he'll claim the reward on her head. But with my neighbor gone, our troubles would be over. And let me guess, you want me to kill him? Yes, he must die. Consider yourself lucky. It's already been taken care of. Nicely done, my friend. You're not making this
Why security here? These men look like they need a doctor. They're lousy sparring partners. Every last one. I need professionals to practice with before the Battle of 100 Hands. I need a champion.
Maybe your champion has arrived. Is that right? If you're serious, I am a sanctioned competitor in the battle. You practice with me, and Rakios will let both of us officially enter. This battle, the Battle of 100 Hands, is the most grueling contest in the Greek world. The body count is high, and the chance of success low. Are you sure that's something you want to train for? Killing's what I do. And I do it well. You have the right attitude, I'll give you that. But you can't simply power your way to victory in the Battle of 100 Hands. It takes preparation. If this battle is so difficult, why enter it at all? I'm not from a family of means, champion, and have always dreamed about the... And now, they're all gone. Dead. You want the Drachmi? I don't care about the Drachmi, not now. I need to save my family's legacy from the edge of yet another champion's blade. I need to win, and become like a hero of old. the battle's so hard, why do you think you'll win? I train at all hours until my body gives out. Before bed, I make offerings to Ares. I wake in the night to strategize. And then, I rise in the morning to do it all again. That's an impressive amount of work. If I don't win the battle, at least I'll know I've done all I can. You mentioned I should talk to Drakios about officially entering the battle. Where can I find him? He's usually in the town on Melos. Doesn't go far. Let's say I want to fight in the Battle of 100 Hands. Then fight me, and prove you are a worthy training companion. You asked for it. Come on, Mistyos! <sighs> Stings, doesn't it, champion? I felt worse. That hurt. Ooh, I've made you angry. You're cute when you're angry. What? <laughs> I'm not angry. Of course not. You need to push me. Nice move. Seems you are the champion I've been looking for. A real Spartan, if I'm right. You are? I sensed it in the way you fought. Aggressive, but not reckless. My name's Roxana. Cassandra. Next on the agenda is archery training. Are you ready? I'm ready. So eager. Well, a shipment of wolves has wrecked on shore nearby. They were meant to be part of the battle, but now, they're our practice targets. Let's go hunting. We're a safe distance here. Now shoot these cursed wolves before they start taking down the local children. I'll see if there isn't a thing or two I can learn from you. It's nice to be out here. You'll be happy to know the rest of our training will be more... Private. On with the hunt. I can always use more pelts. A true champion. I knew it. Ready your bow.
do you like that one? Beautiful shot. Do they ripple? Exactly the archery training I was hoping for. The wolves are dead. That's what matters. If you say so. How much more training will we do before I can enter the battle? What? You don't want to spend more time with me? You need more experience. This time with you has been... I don't know what to say. Say no more. In a strange way, I see my own reflection in you. Yes. We've only just met, and yet we have a connection. You're a unique creature, Cassandra. There's one more step to our training. Where to? My house. Shall we continue? Now that we've saved the children of Idre from a pack of hungry wolves, I guess we can move on? You jest, but that was a real nuisance we dealt with. Your choices have an impact, Cassandra. Your actions have already benefited the people here. So, shall we complete our training? We do have unfinished business. The training? Or the company? We've been having so much fun. Fighting each other, killing wolves. Go on. I think you'll like this next challenge. Yeah? The last part of training is a race? The battle of 100 hands is about skill, strength, and most of all, endurance. A tired competitor is an easy target for someone with stamina. I make regular offerings to Hermes to stay fast. And if I win this race, what will I get? Bragging rights alone. Great. It's not the result you should be after, it's the training. After this, you will be ready to enter the Battle of 100 Hands. I will vouch for you, and you will vouch for me. I'm ready. You said race to the high point? Yes. The plateau on the other side of town. When I say go, the race is on. Three, two, one, go! You'd be faster! Just enjoying the view! Even with all that gear. It's easy to forget how beautiful it is here. When you're training so hard, you mean? I travel a lot, but it's often at the service of others. I can be so focused on Drachmi that I lose sight of what's in front of me. And what's that? The ocean breeze on my face, the sun on my skin, a sturdy horse to ride. I come up here to remind myself to live in the moment. I can see how that might work. If you told Varnavas there was a sea monster living in your ear, he'd believe you. He sounds like a real dimwit. Actually, he's one of the most genuine people I've ever met. That's Melos Island, right there. Where so many warriors go to die. 
At the battle, we may have to fight each other. And only one of us will survive. I thought you came up here to live in the moment. How's this for in the moment? Let's make it more than a moment. Must you wear so many layers? Comes with the job, I guess. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye. Until the battle, I mean. Let's not make this difficult. I can't help thinking. We don't have to cross swords. You could skip the battle as easy as I can, but you won't. You're right. Goodbye, Roxana. So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, Doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better... I'm a Mystios. Ungenerous, but honest at least. What can I call you, Mystios? Cassandra of Sparta. What did you come here for? Cassandra of Sparta. Hippocrates, I need your help. I was told you may have helped my mother. I'm trying to find her. But we see all kinds of mothers. They walk all day so that Hippocrates can see their children. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. According to Sostratos, you don't like people mentioning your... you know. My what? Your hair. Or lack of it. Yes, yes. Make your jokes while walking around like one of Phidias' sculptures come to life. Where should I look for your notes? For Tyrins, not far from here. Perhaps they'll return them if you ask. Or they could prepare for a new battle. 
with me. Far be it for me to tell Amistios how to work, but please, for my sake, do not kill needlessly. Enough blood has been shed in this war. Did... Not her, but the local military commander. I can't fault his desperation. Those men suffer terribly from battle fatigue. She would have come here a long time ago with an injured baby. Are you sure she would have passed through the sanctuary of Asclepios? I was a young man then. When I encountered a situation beyond my skills, I would send a patient to the sanctuary. And these priests keep records of their patients? Yes, engraved in stone. The elder priest might remember. What was so interesting about these notes? They were my notes about diseases of the mind, including what the priests call the sacred disease. That's what this patient has. He's losing control of his limbs and throat, sometimes frothing at the mouth. I fear his breathing will stop next. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. to talk to him. He's over there. There he is. If you're here for your purification bath, You'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you have strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? Many women pass through with babies. Now leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! Snakes. They're everywhere! Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. The snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead! Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. What does taking a bath have to do with healing the sick? Asclepios only visits the dreams of the pure. When the sick arrive, they offer sacrifice, cleanse their bodies in the bathhouse. Only then do we let them rest in the Abaddon, where Asclepios appears and heals them. How did all these snakes get loose? And why are there so many at the sanctuary? Blame Dorios! He's supposed to keep them in the Tholos. Patients with afflictions of the mind are healed by the snakes. Their tongues are like kisses from the gods. I'll clear out these snakes in no time. If you sacred snakes get chopped to beats. Then how am I supposed to deal with them? Snakes are drawn to the bath's heat. Flood them with cold water and they'll slither back to their hole. There's an underground pipe that may help you. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know.
Ravin apostilon diseo. Ora, dismore, tridio de smen. Ile di adero de dismen. That's the pipe. Opening it should flood the bath and get rid of the snakes. And? Is the bathhouse free of snakes? I flooded the bathhouse with cold water. Good riddance! Well? Well what? I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mithun, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> I like your snakes. At least I got a name. Miva. Greetings, young one. Come to offer us Clipios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just... Bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. This way. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. <laughs> Ah, I remember this tale, written during the time of the great Elod revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them. Then Rhea touched it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these... treatments. 
Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness. Magic. A man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, even better. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. You're too close. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. Taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly was very strong-willed, and uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved, but there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed, so... And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads, of Sparta, came here with child, sought pity from the gods, why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary? I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? I'm filthy and could use a good bath. The kind priest here was pointing me in the direction of the bathhouse. Um, yes, that's correct. The bathhouse is right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me. The baths are for healing the sick, not for washing the blood off one's hands. Leave. That old priest, hiding by the tree. The tree of Heracles. I'm not sure if it's loved more for its legend or its olives. Now, where is that priest? I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please! Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. May Asclepius spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the Eagle Bearer. Wants nothing but Drachmi for blood. I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure. And it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs. Goats. 
all have fallen on deaf ears. There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people, but I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the ego-bearing mystios, or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard, it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals. All must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you. Am I too late? Like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. We'll have to do. If they want the whole ball, they can come get it themselves. Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly, and with just a heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of our lease. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by this sickness. I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. 
gives the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You'll regret this. <laughs> Not an easy choice, Mistios, but it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary. But sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often. That is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the servants. Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now, why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him, not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my brother here, you and your priests left him for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. I don't believe you. Dead? How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky he survived as long as he did. That, that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby, my baby. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. <laughs> he wept for that Spartan woman so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Midon told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to him, before finally leaving him to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? I see. Chrysis possesses every tongue around here. I'll find her on my own then, and cut out a lot more. I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself. I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. I'll transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. You must work for Drachmi just like everyone else. Whatever the commander is paying you, I'll pay you more. Then we leave. And let this person die. I could be convinced. On two conditions. Out with it. I'll take double. A life's worth a lot. And for the sake of the gods, don't tell Hippocrates. Hippocrates would never put Drachmi before a patient's life. 
But here, since you're so determined to be a mercenary, I'll meet you there. Don't be late. Hippocrates, how's the patient? I couldn't remember the proper steps for treatment and you were gone so long. Your notes were destroyed in a fire. This means you've brought me here to help. I went to see the priests first. I had to find out about my mother. A worthy pursuit, though it cost this man his life. Serving others and you, Hippocrates. This should never happen again. The payment we should seek is the preservation of life. A good doctor puts the needs of his patients first. I have learned a lesson today. I will take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. Hippocrates, I'm sorry the patient died, but I still need to know what happened to my mother. Come with me. We should talk. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But two more serious matters. I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient. That I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I know something that may help you find her. I swore I would never tell anyone about Dolops and his past. But I owe this to your mother. Who's Dolops? He was a priest who dedicated his life to helping orphans. It's possible he remembers that night long ago. Thank you, Hippocrates. Go away! Calm down. Hippocrates sent me. The great doctor is concerned for my health? Yes. And we need some information. Tell him... ...someone tried to kill me. Kill you? He said you worked with orphans. That's why I'm here. That was long ago. Now I'm just a farmer. And I'm Amistheus. If I stop this killer, will you speak with me? I will. Tell me what happened. I was on my way home when a man dressed in black attacked me. I ran as fast as I could. Are you hurt? No. Thank Ira. Why would someone attack you? My neighbor thinks I'm bad luck. He may be right. There's a difference between insulting someone and attacking them. What else? I'm behind on my rent. I think my landlord wants to get rid of me and find a new tenant. I'll find out who wants you dead. It was my neighbor or my landlord who attacked me. But you can't punish someone unless you know they're guilty. I'll be back when I figured it out. Then, we're talking about your past. This armor is broken, but it was valuable. If it belonged to the attacker, he's either wealthy or very lucky. Did you see someone attack Dolops? Yes. It was terrible. Who did it? I couldn't see clearly, but I think it was that bull-headed neighbor of his. He must have finally snapped. Thanks for letting me know. This black cloth is fine enough for a king. Would do well as a mask, too. I'm looking for...
for the person who attacked Dolops. I saw it happen. His face was covered, but I'm sure it was our landlord. He lives all alone and hires soldiers to protect him. He has to be hiding something. Thanks for letting me know. Mystios! You scared me. I know who did it. What do you think? Who tried to kill me? It was your landlord. Of course. He wants me out of the way. I'll take care of him. Be careful. He's dangerous. Your landlord is dead. He was a lot more than that, though. He... was one of those people, wasn't he? I can't. Please, take this. You might find it useful. You wanted to know something. Hippocrates said you used to work with orphans. I did, but Chrysis drove me away. So she did? Where did you last see her? ...in the woods near the Sanctuary of Asclepios. But that was many years ago. Where do you think Chrysis is now? I can't be sure. But she used to pray at the altar of Apollo Maleatas. That's where she decided which children to train and which to let die. She's my mother. Chrysis kept you a secret. My birth brought shame to her. 
I could never redeem that. What was Chrysis doing? That was so terrible. She would take the children and teach them terrible things. Turn them into spies and even soldiers. I couldn't take it anymore and left. At a secret meeting in Delphi, I overheard Chrysis mention a great warrior. Could these children have been part of her plan? So she did see the Oracle. Oh, yes. Chrysis spoke of building an army with a champion at its head. It must have been for her associates. The masked ones. You have done your duty to Ira. I'll deal with Chrysis. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. Chrysis is the key to finding my mother. I must find this altar of Apollo Maleatas. There's the altar of Apollo Maleatas. There's the statue of Apollo, and the altar. Chrysis will find a lot more than a helpless infant waiting for her. A warning. I must be getting close. seems to run in your bloodline, oh mighty eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake. I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You speak of family, yet you send cult puppets to silence your own son. They're dead, by the way. Dolops ceased being my son when he turned his back on the gods. You mean turned his back on you? The baby was destined to be mine. He was too stupid to understand that. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But he was him. Placed him on this very altar. Screamed for the gods to spare his life. And they listened. What did you do with my brother? I saved his life. By teaching him to suffer. To know pain so well that he would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now he will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You tortured him? He was just a baby! I taught him to survive. This world is cruel. It demands strength or death. So I gave him strength. Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth. The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me, but she can't hide forever. She will give us more children. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you caused. <laughs> this world is pain. I gave Demo strength to go. Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. 
I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your brother. Here, let My... This baby is yours? She was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. God bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Chrysis's reign of terror must end. If what Chrysis said was true, Mirini believes my brother died long ago. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia. I can't let Chrysis walk free. I'll kill that Malaga. <laughs> This is it. Let's hope Heracles killed all of the Stymphalian birds. It's no ordinary wolf.
Kere. Is there something you need? A cursed Mistio stole my loot. Wretched, good for nothing, Malakes, all of them. Well, not all of them. I'm sure you're not like that. You're sure, are you? Well, now's your chance to prove you're better. I'd normally go after the Malakas myself. But there are bandits making trouble in the area. It's a lot to take on alone. And you want me to kill this mercenary? I can't hide my desires. He must die. You haven't heard? That's already been taken care of. By me. Payment well earned, mercenary. Take this as thanks. I could use someone with your skills. Would you consider joining my crew? I can find far more wealth traveling the Aeon with you. I mean... You're not one of my soldiers. You better have a good reason for being here. We Spartans stand together. So here I am. Yes. Spartan blood matters most. Looks like this victory will bring you glory. The rewards of skill and effort. It's the Spartan way. From slave to general, bathing in the blood of this war while our leaders stuff their faces and preen. The Polemarchos believe it's an easy victory. I will end this war in my favor. You have a strategy? Athenian Polemarchos are paralyzed with indecision. They serve too many masters. Making them slow to react. And that's where you come in. Infiltrate their forts and kill the Polemarchos. I need a way clear for my troops. Just don't offer I'll do my part. Ward it for your efforts.
Need any help? The commander of the unit I've been spying on suspects me of passing information to the Athenians. Maybe you're not a very good spy. Maybe not. But the Spartan commander is about to have me killed. And Athens needs the information I've written on this papyrus. So you want me to provide protection? I knew I asked the right person. Stay close. Let's go. You're going down, That should be the last of them, Mistyos. You're quite the warrior. You're safe now. Well done, my friend. You've earned your keep, that's for sure. Please, accept this as thanks. I always finish what I've started. could hear your footsteps. Welcome back. 
I've traveled to the Acrocorinth. From there, I could see all of Corinthia. Ah, I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay her tribute. The Atere keep the spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger, I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go worship, of course. Now that's out of the way. You owe me a tale. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you too. He was. By my brother. Your brother? None of this is me. My brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible. That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother wanted the throne and plotted my death. Now, I hide here, exiled, living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more, but first... Yes, yes, a tale for a tale. I returned to Mount Tayedos. Return? Tell me, did you meet the mountain god who devours Spartan children? The mountain is just a mountain, like any other. What makes Taietos a place of suffering is the people there. That is true of all the world's worst places. When I was a child... I could tell from the moment I met you that you carried the burden of suffering. Let it stay in the past. Now you tell me, King Artaxerxes. How can I believe your story? You don't exactly look like royalty. <laughs> well... That's the point. I am hiding. Show me proof. I could. You see, I knew a man named Themistocles. The Athenian general. I heard stories about him being ostracized from Athens. All the petty politics. I was king, but only a boy. He spent his days learning Persian and telling me stories of his home. Places like the Acrocorinth. Mount Taigetos. The places you wished you could see. I loved the tales and loved Themistocles like a father. He was kinder to me than Xerxes ever was. Tell me one last tale and I'll tell you why he hid his treasure. If you'd like to hear about the bird, I could describe it to you. Nothing would make me happier. It's a majestic statue. Built from the blades of fallen soldiers. It is so high above Stymphalos and the golden fields below. Up there, I could forget there was a war. So it is as it was told to me. The bird commemorates Heraclius' fight against chaos, built on a place of calm. Hopefully, one draws out the best in the other. So, I've been to the five places Themistocles told you about in his tales. For that, my soul will be eternally grateful. As for my tale, Themistocles died peacefully in Persia, as one of us. I promise him I'd see the places he told me about. His stories will live on in me. And now you. And what of your story? I let the people believe Darius succeeded in killing me, so I could escape. Artaxerxes, there's something else. Grandfather was Leonidas of Sparta. That means your father, King Xerxes, killed my grandfather. Then you are bound by blood to avenge him. Archax Xerxes, false king, this mystios led me right to you. Time to finish what I started. Cassandra, please. Stand behind me. Artaxerxes, are you hurt? 
Despite being bound by honor to avenge Leonidas, you saved me. Thank you. I had no choice. That man wanted you dead. Must have been another one of your executioners. It was. If he doesn't return to Persia, my brother will send another. Then another. It's time this old man accepts his fate. Sure, you could give up. Or you could sail home, kill your brother, and take back your kingdom. I spent my entire life coming him. As for you, there is the matter of your payment. Well, I did save your life. And I went on an adventure for you. Your Highness. You did? Though, much of what you said is not how I remember Themistocles telling it. Things change. Ah, we approve of that, aren't we? Now, for Themistocles' treasure, find the tomb in Salamis where he made his triumphant stand against my father's navy. That's where your reward awaits. What happened? Raiders in the forest. My husband, he tried to fight them off. Did you say the forest? I thought the forests of Argos are safe. They stole our food, our horse. They wanted to take me. All I can hear is their awful laughing. Such a horrible noise. Laughing? And the whole group ambushed you for one horse? Yes. If your husband is facing the bandits alone, he won't have long to live. Please! I have a child! You have to help us! I will find your husband and the bandits. You saved that child, I knew. Kill this man just to set a trap? It's an honor to give your life to Ira's greatest priestess. He died willingly. With him gone, I have room for one more on my council. It isn't too late to join us. You've lost your mind, Chrysis. This is madness. A world where a killer like you is held up as a hero. That is madness. This is the world you helped to make! I will unmake it! Very well. If you wish to be an agent of chaos, if you wish to be a killer, then kill, child! What could have joined us? We could have ruined the world together! Die for me, my child! Get there! <laughs> I'll catch you yet! 
You fucking snake! <laughs> I will not stop until every last cultist has met my spear. You will be erased from history. I will erase you. This is for my mother and every family you destroyed. You shouldn't be... Huh? Alkibiadis. You look like you're having fun. The gods work fast. I wished someone as beautiful as me were here, and you arrived. It's really about them. These poor fools have accepted their fate. The gods decided many should lack in beauty while you and I bathe in it. You're in a good mood. Must have been some party. The only kind I know. Although I have a slight problem. There's an important politician here who really needs to get back home. But gods know I can't make the trip. I'll make sure he gets home safe. Yes, safe. Right, it should be an easy trip, although you may have to carry him at this point. Lucky man. You could let him stay here. I would, but it's never good to let a politician stay the night. It's a rule of mine. I'm surprised you have rules. Oh, you know how they can be. Never want to stop talking. There's only so much I can take. But for you, I'd break all of my rules. What has he done to be so special? Well, he, uh... It was something to do with people, I think. Gods, I don't know. You may as well ask me what I ate ten days ago. So... You party often? As often as I can. I'm not sure how you do it. Practice, practice, practice! The more I do, the better chance of having a clearer head than those around me. So you're looking to gain an advantage? Over my allies? Never! Actually, let's not talk about such things. ...of the port of Piraeus. His home is somewhere around there. Now the world is spinning and bouncing! <laughs> They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Did you bring me here? Is this really where he lives? Ah, it's a 
exactly like we were told. For my You're going straight to Addis. You saved my life. Any reason someone would want to kill you? I am a politician. Could have been anything. Thank you, Miss Theos. Cassandra, you're back. Gotta run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at the Spasias. Sometimes I think you are too much like me. Aspasia. Oh, Cassandra. You returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's bleak, but it hasn't killed you. You're right. But everything Pericles has built is being destroyed. It's chaos outside these walls. People have forgotten how to be people. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother. Her name, her ship... Cassandra, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. I can't move. Pericles is a strong man. I'm sure he can fight the sickness. You heard the mob. He can't defend himself. He'll die with no glory. Athens has known him a lot longer than they've known this plague. He gave them a voice. His accomplishments will speak for him. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. The time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. Sandra. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. I admit, you don't quite look yourself. I don't feel like myself either. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. 
Ah, I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses his no favorites. We've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. The gods definitely aren't in Athens. I hardly recognize it here. It's like the Tartarus. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon. My greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Cassandra. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about the ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Aspasia, there's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here, 